Hi everyone, it's Kathleen. We are back today to continue working on our Alfred's Garden Stitch Along. We've done the backgrounds and we are now going to do in the next three videos, this first video today, we'll be using the up and down buttonhole stitch to outline all of the birds' bodies, all of them. All my birds are gonna be outlined in this color using the up and down buttonhole stitch. This is a size five pearl cotton and the color is made by Elganza and Wonderfill and it is Elganza color Easy M, Easy Mixed 19 bird bodies. The next video will be on the bird tails. The bird tails will all be done with the feather twig stitch using this darker color. So all the birds will have the same color of tail using that stitch. And then the third video I'm going to make will be using this color to outline all of the wings with the feather stitch. So it's going to add a little dimension to the birds. So let's start with this color. I have, I have threaded up my needle. I like a lot, long piece. It always goes from the tip of my finger all the way to my shoulder, opposite shoulder. And let's just choose, if I didn't mention it before, I have 10 birds facing right and I have 10 birds facing left. So I'll be alternating those birds when I put together my lap blanket. I live in Canada and I need a very warm blanket uh, to keep my, my lap warm. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to anchor my pearl cotton on the back and I'm going to come in. I'm always, my stitches will be worked on the background of the fabric, never on the blue part of the bird, but I'm outlining the bird. So this is where I want to come up because I work in wool. I can go in between the wool fibers. I take a a long bite and I take a short bite. I don't know how far I pulled that. Let's take a short bite. And it's tight. So let's come up in the corner of where that tail and the bird meet. So all of my birds, the bodies will be outlined with this up and down buttonhole stitch. A buttonhole stitch, you have a the top bar going along a line, and then you have the up and down portion of the thread. So that's a blanket stitch. And then you twist your needle around and do the same stitch, pull it, and you get that stitch. This is book is my Stitch Bible by Sharon Bogan creative stitches for contemporary embroidery and I'm doing I'm following her instructions because I really like <clears> how <throat> I, I use it all the time okay so we are going to start these the up and down buttonhole stitch so I come in the corner so a regular buttonhole I would just go like that with my needle and that's a buttonhole stitch but because I want to make it look like feathers, I'm not gonna start straight up and down because he would be a scared bird. I'm gonna lay his feathers down slightly. So I'm gonna come out, uh, not quite half an inch. I'm gonna come out a small amount, go down, and I'm gonna come up. Let's move this thread aside. I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna try to go every quarter of an inch. So we'll see how, how I do, because my stitches aren't that consistent. I wish they were, but they're not. So buttonhole stitch, the thread lays along the body of the bird. I came in at an angle outside towards the line, and my thumb is holding that thread down, and I'm pulling. So my first buttonhole stitch, my needle is pointing towards the bird. My next stitch, I'm flipping my needle I'm going to go over that thread and I'm going to come out a little bit longer and a little bit to the side. 
so that the, it'll be adding a thread. And so then my thread, my thread is going to just go under my needle towards my beak. And you see how I'm pulling my thread towards me. My nail is holding down my first buttonhole stitch. Now I have a knot. Do that again. We're gonna repeat all the way around the bird. So I'm gonna, I don't have to lay it down just yet, but my thread will always be on the bird body and I'm, I'm working on the background. So a regular buttonhole would be like this. We want to make it look like feathers. So I'm gonna go a little bit closer and come up at the bird body, bring my thread at the bird body and pull. So that's the first half of my buttonhole. First half of the buttonhole, needles pointing towards the bird. The second, you flip it opposite. Now you go down over the thread and let's move it over a little bit and take our thread and we just go under the needle towards the beak, towards our traveling path, the, where we're going. And you see how my thread is being pulled towards me to give you that little knot. And I see with this one here, I'm going to have to make my second, second leg of my buttonhole a little bit longer. I'm not going to, he can be irregular. Birds are not perfect. So let's go real close from my knot. I'm gonna just kind of go out at a 45, a small little bite. So I think this space might be, is it bigger than a quarter inch? I don't know. Needle pointing towards the bird. Needle pointing away from the bird. Okay. And then over, I said a wrong thing. I'm going to go under this needle towards the beak. And you pull the thread towards you. And I'm going to try to speed up needle two. And I'm going to go out at a little 45 degree angle from the knot slightly. Needle comes up about a quarter of an inch. Needle towards the bird. Needle away from the bird. Under the needle. Towards the direction we're traveling. And pull. Go out at a 45 degree angle. Take a bite towards the body now your needle goes away from the body so towards and away thread goes under the needle towards the beak so in the direction you're traveling pull forty five degree angle down quarter of an inch and needle towards the bird. Now away from the bird. And under the needle, towards the beak. And pull the thread. It'll sort itself out. Looking pretty good. Now continue. 45 degree angle down about a quarter of an inch towards the bird. Needle away, well, really close to the bird body, away. Because we're getting to the head, I'm not gonna make the second one as long, I don't think. So thread under the needle towards the beak and pull towards you. I like the little knots it gives. And I like that it kind of gives fe the feathery look. So 45 down towards the body and pull. 
needle away from the bird, down, about the same height. Find that working thread and under the needle towards the beak and pull your thread towards you. towards the bird. Now it's going to go away from the bird, straight down over that thread. And keep it nice and short because we want short feathers. He's not, he doesn't have a very furry face. So let's go under the needle and pull the thread towards you. It's very dark, you can hardly see that thread. And let's continue. And I'm gonna go a small 45 and a quarter of an inch and pull. Turning the needle away from the bird, over the thread, and again, making a nice little small bite. The thread goes under the needle towards the beak, pull towards you. And this, this might be the last stitch on that side. So a quarter of an inch away, really close. And let's go right where the intersecting or where the beak meets the bird body. And let's, I'm going to do a second one because that's the button, up and down buttonhole stitch. Down over that thread. Okay, I'm gonna go all straight down because I wanna come up really close and I couldn't take a bite. So I'm just gonna come up really, really, just a little bit away, kind of half, oops. And okay, how did my needle go? Uh, down, up this way, thread goes under my needle and pull. Okay, so that's done. Now let's, I'm gonna go down just over that and I'm gonna come up on the other side of the beak right here underneath. So let's go this way. Oh, but then my feathers would be going that way. Okay, so I just realized I can't do my up buttonhole stitch because my feathers, I want, right now it looks like his feathers are, are going this way. I want my feathers to go this way. So I have to do it this way. I have to go out of here. So let's, let's, Oh, the color is so similar. I can't even see what's thread. Let's pull this out. Okay, let's thread by needle. I'm going to finish off this side and we're gonna start back at the tail again. Okay, so to finish off this, we are going to take a little bite And then we're gonna take a big er bite. Okay, and now I'm gonna take Lisa's fantastic sharp thread scissors and cut that off. So now, <clears throat> because I want the feathers to lay the same way, but going this way, I have to come up here. Okay, this is where I have to come up. So. Someone must be walking. Oh dear. No barking, Jacques. It's okay. So I big big bite. Little bite. Oh shoot. Oh. Little bite. Rethread this needle. Hopefully I'll have enough thread to complete this. Okay, so we are going to come up at the base 
of the tail where the tail meets, for crying out loud. <sighs> okay, where the tail meets the body. So buttonhole stitch lays down and my first one goes towards the bird. So usually it's at a 45 degree angle, but I don't want to. I just want to go, I mean, not a 45, a 90 degree angle. I want to come up at a 45, small, and let's move this thread over. Let's come up close to the bird and thread under the needle. Now our needle goes out, so I'm going to go away from the bird. So I'm going to go over my bump and let's find a nice long one there. The fat, uh, needle goes, thread goes under the needle. Pull and you drag the needle, pull the needle. I said, pull the thread towards you. Same stitch, 45 degree angle down. Take a bite towards the bird. Go, thread goes under the needle and pull. So we went towards the needle, towards the bird. Now we're going away from the bird, over the thread. But make sure your needle touches that bird body. And let's give him a nice long little feather. And under the needle. And we're, we're bringing the thread in our working direction. Pull thread towards you. 45 degree angle down. So it's the same repetitive pattern stitch. Come up at the bird. Thread is under the needle and pull. Now where the needle goes away from the bird, over the thread and a little bit longer than that last tail, last uh, Thread. thread goes under the needle in the working direction you're going. Forty five degree angle down, quarter of an inch, thread under the needle and pull. Just push that thread so it's just sitting on the edge of the bird. Now we are going to point the needle away from the bird. Go down just over the thread, touching the bird, but on the background. A little bit longer than that last thread. Find your, find this thread. You go under the needle in the direction you're traveling and pull the thread towards you and you have a knot. 45 degree angle down. And then the thread goes under the needle and pull. I was going through cotton there. And make sure my thread sits on the background. Needle points away from the bird. You go down over that thread and up. My thread goes under the needle in the direction I'm traveling. Pull towards you. I don't have much thread, so you'll see how I have to change it up right away. 45 degrees down. Oh, let's go at the corner of these black feet. Oops, I'll just move over this way. Thread under the needle and pull. Make sure your thread is on the background. And thread goes set her own thing needle away from the bird just over that thread up there and thread goes under the needle in the direction I'm traveling push needle through and pull towards me I don't have that much thread for my next stitches it's at a good ending spot I'm gonna just go over this multicolored thread I'm using and down 
I'm going to tie it off and cut it off. So a small bite and a large herb bite hidden in between the wool. Cut that off right at the wool and go get my, go get more thread. And okay, I love this Caribbean blue, so I'm going to feed this part through here. Okay, we're going to secure this, and I'm going to come up. Where am I going to come up? I'm going to continue. So if I went down there, I have to take a big bite to secure. One large bite. And then a small bite. Okay, let's come up. Oh, we're just where we ended off. Okay, right here. And make sure that the thread is laying flat. So we're just like we're starting over again. So we are going to 45 degree angle. And we're going to be, our threads, our, our body threads are going to go over top of these bird feet. So it'll give it 3D. 45, down, take a bite, quarter of an inch, go under the needle and pull. Push that thread so it's on the outside of the bird. And now we're going to, the needle is going away from the bird, over the line, I'm sorry, over the thread, and where do we want him to come up? We're going to come up over top of that, over there. Thread under the needle in the direction we're traveling and pulling the thread towards us, towards me. Okay, and 45 degree down, quarter of an inch, thread goes under the needle and pull. Make sure that thread lies on the background. And needle away from the bird, just over the thread. And it's gonna have a little bit long hair there, long feathers. Take the thread, we're gonna go under the needle in the direction we're traveling. Pull the thread towards yourself. Forty-five degree angle, down, take a bite, go under the needle and pull. So make sure our thread lies on the background. Needle away from the bird, over top of that thread, and let's shorten up these um, second threads. Well, maybe he can have a furry chest, so he can still be long. Needle through, thread under the needle in the direction we're traveling, and you pull the thread towards yourself. 45 degree angle, down, take a bite, thread under the needle and pull. And again, just make sure it lies on the background. Needle away from the bird, over the thread, and we're gonna make him kinda, kinda the same length. Maybe just a hair longer. Okay, thread under the needle in the direction we're traveling and whoa and pull 
Okay, we did both of those, I already forgot. And 45 degree angle, down. And the thread goes under the needle and pull. Make sure it goes, your thread lays on the background. Needle away from the bird, over the thread, maybe the same length now uh, as that last thread under the needle in the direction you're traveling and pull towards yourself. Maybe, maybe two more. So this one 40. Well, do I want a really long one? Huh. Two more. No, we're just going to do one more. So let's go 45 degree angle close because we want it close to his body and really clo close to the beak but I want to make sure that I have one stitch left to work to over to go over so thread under the needle pull make sure it lies on the background the second <clears throat> the second one needle don't forget I just about forgot Away from the bird, over the thread, same length, thread under the needle, direction you're traveling, pull towards you. Last stitch, so let's just anchor it by going over top. And we're always working on the background. Oh my God, I love him. I absolutely love his body. Oh, look at that. Okay, to knock this, to uh, secure this. Small bite. And bigger bite. Cut off. So I'm going to be doing all of the birds like this. So let's look at this beautiful design. <coughs> I love how that up and down buttonhole stitch looks. So off camera, I'm going to be doing all the rest of my 19 birds with that same stitch all the way around and all of these. And I'm gonna keep that same color for the bodies. When I do the tails, it'll be in the next video. So you can work on, if you're just doing one block, you can work on that. If you are going working on multiple blocks, do as many blocks as you're going to do. All my stitches around the body of my bird will be that up and down buttonhole stitch. I just love that. In that same color, because I want my blocks to blend. Thank you everyone for watching and we'll be back. Next video, we'll be outlining the tails. Bye for now.